Okay, we know it's boring and it's time consuming and you know everything there is to know about WD-40 and the rest of the chemicals that you use every day. WD-40, best tool I have, great stuff. Today we're gonna give you the cold notes of the SDS sheet and the sections that are important to you every day at the job site. First off, you should know where your SDSs are located. And if you don't, talk to your safety professional and they'll point you in the right direction. Fire! Oh, fire! Oh my goodness! What's the procedure? What Secondly, every SDS sheet is laid out the same way. They have the same sections and provide the same information for each different chemical. The first section we're gonna talk about is section two, hazard identification. This is the section that is super important. It tells you whether or not it's explosive, poisonous, causes respiratory problems, or is even radioactive. Know the WEMIS symbols. Knowing them can prevent you from hurting yourself or others, and also give you the first aid requirements if you're in a pinch. Now we're gonna skip all the way to section seven. Now we're not saying that sections three through six are not important. We're just trying to highlight the things that you might be using on a day-to-day -day basis. Section seven, handling and storage, is where it's gonna highlight how you store the product and how you use the product. You may have to store the product outside or use in a well-ventilated area. Not only will this information help to keep your workplace safe, but it'll also help when the OHS officer shows up and does a surprise inspection. Section eight, exposure controls. This is the PPE. This is the section that talks about the things that you need to wear or the things that you need to don to perform your day-to-day -day activities. Uh, it could be cartridges for your half mask respirators. Uh, it could be filters. It could be uh, the types of gloves that you need to wear. Basically, it's just to ensure that you go home with all your fingers, toes, and eyebrows. Oh, there's a mirror right here, sir. I got no eyebrows. Section 11, toxicological effects. These are the things that people don't think of right away. They're the ones that creep up on you, so to speak. <laughs> it's easy to notice noise and fume and to understand what it does to our breathing, but do we really pay attention to what we're eating or what gets on our skin? For example, if you're eating a sandwich without washing up every day, this may be causing more harm than breathing in any kind of welding fume or chemical that you have. Putting chemicals on your skin and absorption could cause long-term health effects. So we've talked a lot about important sections, but we want to have some honorable mentions. Section 13, disposal. Disposal can have environmental impacts on your business and even cause enviro fees or fines. Lastly, section four, first aid. This could save somebody's life. Make sure you're reviewing the first aid practices for every chemical you're working with. Could save you or your friend. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. So to finish up, make sure you're talking to your safety professional on site to make sure that all your SDS sheets are up to date and available for you to look at whenever you need to. To learn more about what we're talking about today, visit our website or check out some more of our videos.